Hello, today we are going to be talking about how to find the standard deviation and range and interquartile range in SPSS. Alright, so let's start with the range and interquartile range. Um, we are going to start by going up to Analyze, and then we are going to choose Descriptive Statistics, and we're going to get a frequency distribution. So click on Frequencies. And then we're going to choose our variable. I'm going to choose Hours. Um, worked in the last week at all jobs. So I'm going to choose this first variable and click that over. And then I'm going to click on statistics. So I'm going to click here and this is where we went to get our mean, median, and mode and all of those things. Um, I'm going to choose quartiles. So this will tell me what my Q1, Q2, and Q3 are um, and that way I can um, go ahead and calculate my IQR. Also on this page, I can also calculate my variance and standard deviation and range. So I'm going to click all of those things. Since this is a numeric variable, we can go ahead and do the standard deviation and the variance. So I'm going to go ahead and just get everything all at once. Um, and then I'm also going to go ahead and get my measures of central tendency, um, my mean, median, and mode, so that I have a point of comparison for my interpretations. So. Once again, what I have gotten is my quartiles for my interquartile range. I've got my standard deviation, my variance, my range, and then I have my measures of central tendency, my mean, median, and mode. And those will help me to interpret my range and my standard deviation. So I'm going to click continue, and then I'm going to click OK. And in my output, we have um, my frequency distribution here and here we have all of my statistics. So you can see that my mean for this group is 42.17 hours worked per week. You can see that my median is 40 so half of the respondents um, work 40 hours or fewer and half the respondents work 40 hours or more and my mode is 40. My standard deviation is 13.352 um, and my variance is 178.275. That is a pretty big variance um, for this data set and this distribution. Um, we have a range of 79. Um, so that's, again, a very wide spread for these 524 people. Um, my quartiles, my Q1 is the 25th percentile, and that is 40. You'll notice that that's the same as my Q2. Uh, which is also 40, and then my Q3 is 50. So we can use all of this information to calculate the IQR, and then we would just want to interpret it as it relates back to the mean, median, and mode. Um, and so if you need help with interpretation, go ahead and check out the um, other tutorials posted on OpenClass.